Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Reshuffle of Destruction, everyone. So last time we took care of what is perhaps one of the most difficult sections of the entire game, the Paradox Gauntlet. This time, we are taking care of Pegasus Island. But first, I mean, I'm going to do one little quick thing. So, this is Pegasus Island. Seto Kaiba has probably already gone ahead. Yeah, apparently. I do not know what Pegasus is planning, really. I mean, don't you kind of know what he's planning? Isn't he going to summon Reshef or something? But we cannot ignore Reshef the Dark Being. No, we cannot. No, we cannot. Okay. Yes, I know. I know, Ishizu. Wait, oh, that's it? Oh, okay. So, before we actually keep going, I'm going to turn back. There's a reason why. Okay, so... Um, now, I don't know, because see, I already used the freaking effect. One second, I, I'm going to go back to Egypt. Let's see here. What is the matter, Shiny? Impossible. Yeah, so I um, I put the password two episodes ago, in case you didn't already know, for the Ross Phoenix mode. So basically the code is 51404976. That's the code. You must see Master Merrick right away. Okay. I shall. I shall do it. As always, we must enter one at a time, because it's very rude to all enter at once. Shiny, you finally succeeded. You have obtained the secret behind the Phoenix Mode, Master Merrick. Yes, I know, Odeon. I am going to awaken Shiny's the Winged Dragon of Ross so that he can use the Phoenix Mode. <laughs> okay. Awaken, Phoenix Mode. Phoenix, be calm. Your enemy is the one who weakened the Egyptian god cards. With Shiny, you must smite that enemy. What terrifying power. Receive the Winged Dragon of Ra Phoenix mode. The deck adjustment menu will be open. Okay, so let's see. I lost the Winged Dragon of Ra, the original one. But luckily, I gained my other Ra. So basically, by getting this Ra, you lose your other Ra. So now you only have one Ra. And yes, it's this one. So, this Winged Dragon of Ra... Um, it has two effects, actually. The first one, it can wipe out every single enemy for paying 1,000 life points. The second effect, I mean, actually, this effect is inferior to Guild for the Lightnings, technically, because you're paying life points to do what Guild for the Lightning, the Lightning can do without paying. Uh, but anyway, um, it can be returned from the graveyard in the battle mode. This second effect makes this card ridiculously overpowered. Oh my god, I'm going to move to the deck. There we go. I'll tell you why in a bit. I will tell you. The Winged Dragon of Raw has fully awakened. What you do with its power is up to you, Shiny. Oh, that's it. That's it. Okay. Imprison Reshef with the power of Raw. I shall. Okay. Time to go back to Clock Tower Square because, you know, what if I die or something? And by die, I mean lose a duel. Because, you know, in this game, you don't actually die. Okay. There we go. Yeah, so if you ever draw the Winged Dragon of Raw Phoenix mode, discard it to the graveyard right away, and you will get an Egyptian guard card out in the field right away. I kid you not, it is that broken. And using that is the key to, like, winning almost everything in this freaking game. Assuming you draw it, of course. That Pegasus. What drove him to do this? I don't know. We'll know if we go. And ask him personally? I don't know much about saving the world, but want to know. But I want to know why Pegasus lost his pride as a true duelist. When was he a true duelist? He used a freaking Millennium Eye to cheat against Yugi. Pegasus is always... Or was always a master of... I mean, I guess. So why would he resort? Yeah, I mean, why would he, you know? There are dirtier tricks than before. So I guess he did imply that, uh, you know, that he did cheat before. Damn, Joey's like just letting some steam out. Garinita, Garinita. Okay, you're gonna be seeing Garinita a lot. Garinita is like the freaking center of Reshift of Destruction jokes and memes or something, man. Like, seriously. No names? Call us Chevaliers. We have pledged allegiance to Master Javalski. That Pegasus, he's really annoying me now. Shiny, it's time to lay the smack down. I know he didn't say that, but I, I said it. Okay. Let's go ahead and ante up our Karibo. 
Okay, let's see what I started out with. What the heck is that? What the hell is- oh shit, that's actually kind of a bad hand. Mahavilo, okay. That's interesting. And I'm gonna put- I mean, I could use Heavy Storm and kill you right away. I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna freaking kill you, because I don't need any of your shit, man. Like, seriously. I'm gonna put that down, and that. The only thing is, I don't know if these guys actually have, um, Heavy Storms or Harpy's Fire Duster. Honestly, I don't know. Okay, I need a card. I need a monster. Yes, that works. Okay, do these guys have how much? 10,000 life points! You've gotta be kidding me. Like, you've gotta be kidding me. I need to draw some shit right now. That's... I mean, that's decent, but not amazing. Whatever. <laughs> Seriously, whatever. Just kill me. Mino Mushi Warrior, okay. That's not too strong of a card. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is... I'm gonna do this, and use the effect. And I'm gonna go ahead and use... Uh, don't wanna do that though. Oh, I think I'm gonna save it. Even if you tribute, that's fine. Cause I have... Uh, yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, he tributed, but that's okay. Togex, that's not even a good card. Why would you put that shitty card in your... Oh my god. Oh my god. Stupid swords revealing light. Yeah, you're gonna be seeing that a lot, people. A lot. Okay, use Bag of the Darkness. I'm gonna tribute you and put in Dark Magician Girl. And I'm also gonna lay down this card. Okay. Don't you dare attack with the dreams. No, 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 thank you. Okay, that's two turns left now. Honestly, should I just pass or should I use Beckham? I'm gonna use Beckham. Because I can't let him attribute to put a stronger card. Like, I can't let him do that, you know? I still have Raigeki, that which is good, you know? But, seriously? Hey look, oh my god, I can multiply. I'm gonna do that right now. Multiply! Look at that shit. That is so amazing. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use... Um... Should I do this? Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, shit. I'm just gonna end my turn. Okay, good. Okay, so it's gonna kill two Karibos, which is fine, but luckily, I mean... The point of Multiply is to take some damage, but also have enough monsters to swarm, which I do. Now, here's the thing that I'm really worried about. I'm gonna use Raigeki this turn. Because, I need to attack with Karibo. That's what I thought. The trap. I need to attack with you as well. That's what I thought. See, that's why I didn't attack with Dark Magician Girl. I'm gonna set you in defense mode and attack with Dark Magician Girl. So I believe by this point, you are... Yeah, look at that. Nothing in your hand. You are screwed, dude. You are screwed. Unless you draw dreams, which you didn't. You actually killed yourself. That is amazing. what I get? A Fiend's Hand. I'm gonna go ahead and attack, but that's all I'm gonna do. Okay, Goblin Secret Remedy, life points restored by a thousand, that's not gonna save you. What'd I get? Infinite Dismissal. Go ahead and attack. Um... Sure, just defend. I wanna keep you face down, in case I have to use your effect. Cause like I said, you know, with effect monsters, you gotta make sure that you- Oh, damn, I am lucky. That would have destroyed Dark Magician Girl. Whew. Pot of Greed. Pot of Greed, come on. And I got some... Uh, whatever. Okay. Obviously I need to use you. And then I need to go ahead and put... Dude, I need to get rid of the freaking... This freaking card sucks, man. Jinzo 7. Like, what the heck? Okay. Now, if you summon the dreams, I'm fine. Okay, never mind. Because I was about to say I have Jinzo 7 anyway. So I'm okay. Ooh! Um, I can kill you this turn by summoning... Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Three tributes. To put... The... I was about to say the Winged Dragon of Raw. Slifer the Sky Dragon. So, I have zero cards in my hand, so he actually gets buffed up nothing. Think of the effect is not like in real life, you know? Or in the anime. Where it's 1,000 times, you know, 
your hand because right now he wouldn't have a zero attack power, which is honestly ridiculous. I just got Talons of Shura Lane. That's the card that I've been waiting for. Because I could actually get that and replace Dark Magician Girl one day. Because the thing about Dark Magician Girl is that its attack is 2000, which still makes her susceptible to Invisible Wire, whereas Talons of Shura Lane still gets buffed up by Yami, but it does not get destroyed by Invisible Wire. Okay. So yeah, you have to destroy three of these in a row. You have to kill three freaking Garinidas Chevaliers in a row. Okay. Um... <laughs> I could cheat. I mean, it's not cheating. It's a, it's a valid strategy, people. I'm gonna use... Raigeki. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Sorry, not that. I'm gonna do this. Discard. And this automatically brings out the Winged Dragon of Raw. See that? I can attack with 4,000 damage to you. That is so amazing. That is so amazing. Okay, what you got? What you got? Anything? Nope. Obviously not. I mean, the Egyptian God Cards are immune to spell and trap destruction. I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding you. Um, I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put this card in defense mode, because they're always stupid. Like, they're gonna attack my electric lizard. They're so dumb, you know? Watch this. Oh, Umi. Okay, that's gonna power up my electric lizard. Hopefully you kill yourself, though. You're about to summon a water, aren't you? Oh, damn it. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, let's see. We're gonna dismissal. Okay. I mean, I could... I'm gonna do this. Because I have infinite dismissal waiting anyway. Yeah, Dying Keto. There we go. But that damn two infinite dismissals, that is amazing. That is so amazing. Okay, and then you oh wait a minute. Oh shit. The Wing Dragon of Ross a machine? Since when? I thought you were a freaking dragon. Not a machine. That does not make any freaking sense. Has it always been a machine? Like, in any freaking games since the creation of the card, when Konami made the card, has it always been a machine? I want to say it wasn't. But I could be wrong. I could be very wrong in that, you know? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Let's see. Um... That might be enough. It might be enough to kill you. I don't know. We'll see. No, it's not. Shit. Oh well. I can attack with you. I can afford you because, you know, infinite dismissals there. See that? That is amazing. That's why I'm saying infinite dismissals are still really good cards. Really good. Okay, that's whatever. Here we go. You're dead. Okay. So I get some more domino, another nice card. And here's the third one. You'll go no further. Oh really? We shall see, dude, we shall see. Okay, let's see what I start out. Oh god. That's not very good. I need draw power, like, right away. I I will take a hit. I will gladly take a hit and some life points. Because I need it. Yep, perfect, perfect, actually. See? Skell Angels are so amazing. They are amazing cards, man. I love them. They're mini pot of greens, and they just give you draw power in your deck, which is so good. Okay, I'm scared. I'm really scared. Two face downs. I don't want to attack. I don't. Um, I'm gonna put you in defense mode because if I put you in attack mode, you probably are gonna summon a dreams if you have one in your hand. If not, you're not gonna summon a monster with more than seven. Oh shoot! I actually never mind. I got boosted too. I'm good. I'm good. That is why Dark Mission Girl's amazing. Oh, you still. Oh my god. Well, there's nothing I could do. Honestly, nothing I could do. Okay, um, I'm gonna attack with you, Fiend's Hand. That's kind of what I thought was gonna happen, at least I used up all your shit, so that's, that's okay. I'm gonna do that. Go ahead and beckon. Oh no, I'm in trouble here, actually. I'm in deep trouble. Because you summon a monster with the right freaking element, which is not good. Not good at all. Okay, that's not gonna help. 
By this point, it's gonna get draw power and get the Winged Dragon abroad here. Like, ASAP. I am going to... not use Beg into Darkness. I'll save it. That's fine. Curl Goblin. Okay. The thing is, how many cards does he have in his hand? Only one. Okay. I can attack with that, that's fine then. Hopefully I draw a tribute next turn. Dark Magician Girl, please. Okay, that's the last of his cards. That's the last of his cards. Yeah. I can do this. Dying Keto. Alright, gotta do it. Do I want to use Raigeki? I probably do. The main reason why is because um, he's pretty much out of stuff. He has nothing left. Oh man, you lucky bitch. Seriously? Seriously. Well, I mean... Hopefully you don't draw another freaking monster. Okay, so do that. That stuns you. You can't tribute either. Oh my god, stop! Oh, wait, wait, yes, 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 yes! That's an earth. I mean, sorry, that's a water. Yeah, okay. I'm in trouble, though. I'm in deep trouble. Okay. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Why, how is he doing this? How is he drawing the right card every time he needs it? I mean, luckily I got my Karibo, but that's a... That's not a house of adhesive tape, but it can't be. Use Pot of Greed. Do it. Oh, finally! Thank God! Finally get something freaking good, man. You've gotta be kidding me. Okay, so... Shadows kill light, what if that's a trap? Well, no, I already attacked with that, didn't I? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, whatever. Do that, do that. I can lay acid trap hole down. Okay, finally, you know, at a good advantage here. That's fine. Use your shit. And you can attack as well, I guess. I got a freaking army of monsters now. I'll keep everybody in attack mode because I still have an acid trapple anyway. So I can keep them all in attack mode and not take damage. How many life points do I have, by the way? Over 8,000, which means that I'll be good for my final duel. Because, yeah, there's four duels in a row that you gotta do. Four in a row, people. Oh my god, you've gotta be shitting me. What a clutch card, man. Okay. Um. Wait, does that work on him? I don't know if that works on you. I'm gonna discard you. I don't think it, he can attack still. I don't think he can. No. Okay, that's kind of what I thought. Because, <laughs> yeah, they're only immune to destruction. God damn it, shut up with your shit. Okay, this is... Okay, second turn. I'm gonna put these in defense mode. In case something happens, you know? Okay. Awesome. Final turn. I guess I guess I'll just pass. Yeah. Wasteland. <laughs> okay. And your card is destroyed. You're out of stuff, dude. You lost. You lost the Z-Duel! There you go. Duel victory! Deck capacity increased by 1, 600 domino, and I got Mahavilo! Okay. Looks like it stopped. Let's keep going, Shiny. Okay. Oh my god. I command you on coming this far. Gehehe, <laughs> but you're not going any further. We won't let you. In your dreams, we'll take you on. Shiny, pick who you want to duel. I'm gonna duel the Mimic, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna duel the Mimic of Doom. Why is Joey the one who gets to duel, not Yugi? You didn't even talk about it. Lack of communication, Joey. Be a better communicator. Don't hurt Yugi's feelings. Oh no! Oh no, that's a bad hand. That's a terrible hand. Shit. Okay, I need, um... Oh god. 
Wait, why did I do that? I should have put Acid Trapple first. Yeah, people, the order in which you put cards face down is actually extremely important. Okay, that's cheap. You're a cheap ass, but I don't really care. Man eating treasure chest. Okay. The problem is that you're a freaking dreams. So, Lodgin's not gonna work, which means I have to use this first. I gotta use Dark Hole and kill you. Okay. You wanna know what's amazing about having Lodgin as well? He gets buffed up. So does the lamp though. They both get buffed up in Yami. Yes. 15,000 life points? This is why this game is such a cheap ass, man. Like, seriously, it's so cheap. Okay, whatever. You're not gonna kill me. That's a trap is too strong for you, dude. Okay, what's next? Fiend's hand? Hmm. So I'm gonna set this down. Okay, attack. Attack, 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 dude. Do I want to attack with Fiend's hand, though? I almost want to say I don't. I want to keep that for later, because what if I really do have to do that? You know what? I'm, I'm just gonna not summon it. I don't want to summon it, because what if you attack it as well? I want the effect ready in case I need to use it, you know? Oh, oh, okay. Skell Angel! Okay, first attack with, um... Actually, use the effect. Draw a card. Oh yes, for next turn. Okay, attack with Ancient Land, because I'm having a trap. It was not, okay. And then attack with Lajin. Dude, you are so done for. You are so done for, man. Shit. Oh man, my freaking lamp is not strong enough. Darn it. Luckily, I have this. Well, let me see. Um, I need a fiend. I can just attack. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm not gonna use your effect, though. There's no point. Because I can just cure it like that. Okay, now how many life points do I have? I got plenty. I can still keep attacking. Watch your life points, because sometimes it's not worth, you know, attacking with weak monsters. Okay, that's fine. That's the dreams, right? Yeah, my fiend sound will take care of you once again. Um, I'm gonna summon you. As far as what I'm gonna do, um, hmm, let's see. Should I duplicate or should I attack? I'm just going to. I'm gonna attack. See, it's the one downside to Revival Jam. You can't split and attack with the new one on the same turn. Unlike the lamp, you know? Oh shit. Do I have a shadow in my hand? I have the fiend's hand. That works. Effect. Kill you. Oh yeah. You're dead. You just lost Zidul. Okay, that capacity by 3, 8 her domino, and I got man-eating treasure chest. I lost again? How dare you? But how will you deal with this? We'll duel until I win. Okay, see, this is why I don't understand Yu-Gi-Oh games with like a dark plot sometimes. Why can't every villain just do this? Be like, we'll duel again, you know, until we win. Like, everybody can do that, but they don't. This is like the one exception, you know? By yourself? I know I'm over my head. I don't have any Egyptian god cards. That's why you have to keep going, Shiny. Make sure you take down Pegasus. A scrub is challenging me. How amusing. You think you can beat the two of us by yourself? Don't make me laugh. You two are all talk. Why don't you shut your mouth and duel? Oh, man. This guy, he's pretty good. But I can't lose. I refuse to lose. Shiny, what are you waiting for? Go on. Okay. So, he pushes him somewhere. I don't know where the hell he pushes him now. If you go back this way... Yes! Look at that! It's a checkpoint, basically. It's a checkpoint. You can go back to the town. That is amazing. Where the hell is Ushizu? What the heck? Okay, that, that'll be for next time, though. So, yeah. If you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.